Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna random here, we're gonna random blue baby every single time, I swear to god. You know what, we're gonna roll with it here. Because wow, we got Spoonbender. I'm gonna try to spin it like Spoonbender is the greatest upgrade we could possibly get as blue baby. You know why Spoonbender is great as blue baby? Is because his shots don't do very much damage. So if you can make sure that they actually land, you have a chance to possibly kill an enemy in six or seven hits as opposed to, you know, a thousand attempts. So our first pill is speed down. Uh, that's always a good sign. Sometimes I wonder, you know, if, if my attitude influences the items and the, the circumstances that present themselves to us in the Binding of Isaac. Like right now, I've obviously got a negative attitude about the way things are going so far. Some people might say, if I was eight years old, I have an attitude problem. If someone tells you you have an attitude problem, and you're, you're not eight, you either have an incredible attitude problem or they are a douchebag and probably your boss or something like that or the coach of your varsity lacrosse team and we get a health down pill, you know what? this run is is begging for a redo I hate to do it we'll fight the boss, we'll see what the boss gives us I mean, no, we're actually gonna fight Bruce Springsteen we're gonna bring him into the studio here and by the studio I mean, you know, my room Larry Jr. I was really hoping would be uh, Blue Larry Jr. so we could pick up some extra health, but man, this has been bad luck so far. Spoonbender is not a bad item. I would never go as far as to say that Spoonbender is like a, a an item that's not worth having, because most of the times it is. However, um, Spoonbender is not a, a Blue Baby breaking item, like it doesn't make Blue Baby fantastic. And speed down, health down is pretty shitty. Uh, we're actually just going to die here, and I'm going to let it happen. I'm just going to stand here. Do it, Larry Jr. You want to kill me? Come on, hit me. I want you to hit me. We might actually succeed in this fight, even with me trying to get hit. So I'm just going to stand here, not even touching WASD. Alright, he's going to take me down. I'm glad that that happened, because we're going to go back to the main menu. We're going to start, and we are going to random again. Judas! Alright, well, we're not going to be able to do any funny stuff with Judas here, because obviously uh, he can die super easily. What do we need? Uh, health upgrades as soon as possible, and yeah, basically that is it. Anarchist Cookbook is exactly the opposite of what we would want as Judas. It's an item that, rather than preserving life, has the potential to, you know, absolutely kill us in one rogue bomb, basically. The Gerard Butler story. So we are going to steal away from there. Uh, and why not fight the boss right away? We've got Book of Belial charged up. We're going to fight Famine. This is a really bad draw for the first little bit of a, a Judas run. I mean, Famine's gonna die easily. It's not like we're gonna die against Famine. The reason this is bad is because um, we're gonna get Cube of Meat, which is not gonna really help us survive on the next floor, which is really what you want uh, from the first floor. As Judas, you want something that Spirit Heart will be, you know, it'll go a little way towards helping us out, but you really want something that is going to make sure that you're gonna preserve your own life for the next, you know, 10 rooms or so. So an extra health upgrade is usually what you want in order to make that happen. Uh, it's not always the best option, but, you know, I guess we'll deal with the spirit heart and we'll pretend that we're Samson. So there's our secret room, which contains 99 bombs. That is awesome, actually. That is going to solve a lot of problems for us. And in fact, with 99 bombs, I believe we might as well check out for the, uh, or check out locations for the second secret room. There we go. And within there we find about a thousand regular red hearts, but I can't really pick those up. But what I can do is come down here and uh, pick up, how many cents? Eight extra cents. We could bomb our way into the shop, so I might as well, again, considering I have, what, 94 bombs left? So we'll definitely go and do that. We're probably not going to get anything useful in the shop, but even if we just find a key, that's probably worth buying considering the situation I find myself in, where I have zero keys and really no good items except for Pyro. Not that Pyro is, you know, I mean, Pyro is a pretty good item, but it's not going to win the game for us. In all likelihood, unless, I don't know, we fight the most weak boss of all time. Alright, so we picked up a key. We couldn't afford Mom's purse, which is fine. Uh, and I guess we will just leave and head down to the next floor. I can just start fighting enemies by dropping bombs in front of them. But I guess, you know, considering we're only on the first floor and now the second floor, uh, 92 bombs, I think, can go reasonably quick. So we're going to have to be cautious to it. Well, not cautious about our bomb use. I mean, come on. We did just get the most bomb, like, rich item in the entire game. But still, don't want to just use it willy-nilly. All right, so we're going to take out the regular flies. I don't want to mess with the uh, neutral flies if it's possible to avoid them because there's really no reason to get in their face. Just wanted to see. Oh, yes, okay, move. 
We're gonna pick up that cent, so we're up to 10 cents. I'm doing this, of course, because I feel like the shop might be worthwhile at some point in the future. It might just contain greed, who knows, but for now, I think this is good. Another spirit art is also a good thing, as Judas, of course. Gonna give us a chance to maintain life a little bit longer. Long enough to hopefully, you know, get a, an HP upgrade we can call our own, so I can feel a little bit more comfortable in this current position. Now, of course, if I was to find the, uh, the, the boss room right away, we would obviously go there, because my Book of Belial is completely charged. I almost called it Book of Revelations. Necronomicon Book of Belial is one mistake, but Book of Belial, Book of Revelations, they look nothing alike. I guess I'm just gonna get in this dude's face right here. Still not killing Grandfather Flies in one hit, which is disconcerting, but that's alright for now. We're still only on the second floor here. Ah, uh, there's our item room, so we will pop in there, see what we got. We got the bean. That is a, a worse item than Book of Belial. You don't need me to tell you that, but... So that's two strikeouts in a row, basically, on item rooms here. And two terrible spacebar items. No opportunities for passives yet. Not good so far on those fronts. Anyway, we're still doing okay because we do have uh, Pyro and Book of Belial. But we're going to need to actually get some worthwhile upgrades soon if this is going to be a run that is going to have any chance of success. In particular, we need some kind of health upgrade from this boss right here. Deals with the devil are not in the cards right now, but uh, actually, you know what would be awesome is maybe some kind of battery or nun's habit from the shop here. Well, we get a map. Is the map worth it? I'm gonna buy the key first, just because I want to make sure I, I stay key rich. And if we get another three cents, then I will come here probably buy the map. But the thing with the map is, like, the map isn't that useful for me. That's the first damage you've taken, so I don't feel like I'm doing too terribly. Um, like, if, the, if I'm using the map as a, a way to possibly find my way to the boss room, that's one thing. Uh, and, like, reveal dead ends. First off, let's see what this pill does. Alright, that's good. Um, but if I'm using it as a way to find secret rooms, then it's not an efficient use of my resources here. Because I do have, like, 91 bombs. So, why bother picking up the map? That's going to be a damage upgrade for us, which is awesome. But why bother picking up the map when I have enough bombs to just, like... You know, find it myself. The secret room is always only in like one of maximum four locations, so with 92 bombs I shouldn't have to worry too much about it. So with the rock we are doing red tiers now. Again, there are occasionally people who tell me that uh, the color of your tiers is not indicative of the damage that they do, but I have always been in the habit of believing that, so I'm going to continue believing it because it's convenient for me. So I feel like we're doing a lot more damage now, or at least a little bit more damage, which is good. You know, uh, having having red tears is always that confidence booster for me. To be like, oh, we're doing enough damage that we can... It's like the, the metric where you know you can take out flies in one hit. Uh, that was a waste of a bomb, but I guess we do have 91 of them. So it's not a huge deal. I'm gonna be on the lookout for like another two cents. We have an arcade where I want to play because we could potentially win uh, a blood bag or something. But we'll fight the boss first and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Another key. If I know we get so many key drops, I might not have purchased a key. So I pop up Belial, and uh, Duke of Flies here should go down in a matter of seconds. He gets back in range. There we go. And some red hearts. We might as well at least go play the Blood Bank a couple of times. There's our HP upgrade. We'll see what Satan's got for us. We probably can't afford it. This, you have no idea how tempted I am. And to how tempted I'm going to continue to be. Well, that doesn't really make any sense. Well, I guess we're not going to go to the arcade anymore. Instead, we're just going to go straight down the next floor. Um, we got Brimstone, no health Judas. How's this going to turn out? Nobody knows, uh, but I do love, for whatever reason, hate Blue Baby. Love turning other characters into Blue Baby by taking away all of their uh, red hearts. But the reason this is potentially good, obviously, is because of that Polaroid ability to give us basically permanent invincibility, but in order to make this actually work, we're gonna need some way to replenish spirit arts. We're gonna need Miter, we're gonna need Nail, we're gonna need uh, Mom's Pearl. Book of Revelations would probably be an upgrade over Book of Belial right now. Uh, more keys and a ladder, which actually the ladder is, would be really useful considering what we've seen on this floor that I've been unable to pick up so far already. It would pay for itself quite quickly. Now notice how much damage we're doing with Brimstone. I mean, this is a nice setup here, but we're very much a glass cannon. And we're gonna need some health of some sort to, to help us out here. So let us see what we've got in here. That is going to be Demon Baby. That's a solid upgrade. Also, we're charging um, Brimstone super quickly. 
which is always great. We get a compass just for the, the mere price of fighting in a mob trap room. Not even a boss trap room, just a mob trap room, which is awesome for us. Compass, one of my favorite items in the game, obviously. Get it every time I have the opportunity, more or less. Let's just take these guys out. Again, damage is like through the roof right now. But health is a, a very, very serious concern. I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass. I mean, you can see I have a spirit heart and a half here. Three hits and I'm done. Uh, but hopefully we find something to make the, the pain go away here. Oh, there is our secret room, so I don't need to waste another bomb. Find more money in here, so again, we'll probably go pick up the ladder now, because why the hell not? Now, what would be awesome as well, if we're gonna go the other way and get like a super offensive item, Whore of Babylon would be fantastic right now. So we'll buy this right here. Um, might wanna buy the tarot card just to see what we got. Strength, that's good. That'll maybe keep us alive for a difficult boss fight or something. My thinking was that maybe we would get the, uh, the hero fonts. And that would, of course, end up with us getting two more spirit... Oh, we can't even get that key. Uh, would end up with us getting two more spirit hearts, which would functionally make us more than twice as strong, or twice as... It would double our vitality right now, is one way to put it, perhaps. So we're getting close to this boss room here. Killing everything in a single brimstone, which is always nice. Uh, I guess I would want... That's another speed upgrade. I guess I would want a second cube of meat would be nice, so if we fought Pestilence or something, I'd be okay with that. Don't get trapped in here. That is the worst. Um, let's we'll see what we've got in this red chest. Two pills, one's a speed upgrade. Please, balls of steel. Health up. That's uh, actually probably even better. So now we're gonna have a little bit more chance of survival. Alright, and it's just this douchebag. This guy's not a problem. We're gonna strength up, we're gonna book a Belial, and like two hits. Should be enough to take this guy down. Possibly three. Nope, just two, actually. So having taken these guys out, we do not have the po possibility of going to deal with the devil, but hey, another HP upgrade. That's going to leave us at two health. Uh, it also gave us a tears upgrade, which is cool. So I feel a lot stronger about our chances now. We do have Curse of Darkness, so Compass is worthless right now. Uh, but two hearts is Judas. And uh, Brimstone, Demon Baby... Rock damage upgrade, uh, one cube of meats, eight lords of leaping, everything's going alright right now. We're still super low on health, we need more either spirit hearts or regular hearts if we're going to turn this into a run that has a chance of actually beating uh, Blue Baby and Isaac, in all likelihood anyway. Now what is this pill? Telepills into self-sacrifice room, which is going to give us another speed upgrade and another pill. Which is going to give us the friends till the end. We did lose half a spirit heart making this hat. Oh, my kid. Now we're low on health now. Just relax, everybody. The telepills ended up costing us uh, one heart functionally. Thank God we got those health upgrades on the last floor. Otherwise, we would be dead right now. I have no idea where we are, by the way. This is almost a Book of Belial-worthy room. The only thing stopping me from using Book of Belial is that one Brimstone charge is enough to kill these greed heads anyway, which means why use Book of Belial, you know? So I think we have been down here, but I'm just trying to make sure we're not skipping out on the item room or anything. So we have been there. Uh, now we'll check to the right, I guess. There is a leftmost area for us to check out as well. That was super easy. Um... Oh, that spider. I can't believe that spider didn't hit me. I thought for sure I was going to get tagged there. So we're okay. We have shop and uh, item room. Item room gives us the magnet. Functionally making our ladder more or less useless except for defensive purposes. Which is a good thing. I mean, the ladder can have defensive use. But uh, I would probably have skipped out on buying the ladder if I knew that we'd find ourselves in this situation. There is a tinted rock in the shop. Two spirit arts would definitely make me feel better. Well, two bombs. I was going to say, two spirit arts would make me feel better about wasting a key to get in here. But we got two bombs instead. Very rare for a, a Tinted Rock to contain no spirit hearts. It happens from time to time, but it's certainly not a, a likely scenario. So I guess we're going to go up here to the left now is our, our next possibility. We've got to put ourselves in a better position to get out of the way of these gishes right away. Now please, more health upgrades is basically the only thing I desire right now from whatever our boss is going to be. So we do have our boss right away. We have a uh, golden poop, which might give me enough money to get bum friend, but I don't want bum friend. I just want to go to the next floor uh, and possibly get a better shop down there. So this will give us enough, 15 cents on the nose. Let's see who we got here. Uh, it's the widow. 
or the other one, the, the Wretched uh, is maybe its name. I can't remember. Should be easy enough to take out. I'm worried about the spiders. But, provided we, we use Brimstone somewhat intelligently, should be easy for enough, enough for us to do this. And that is indeed the end of this fight, provided I kill these spiders. We get to deal with the devil, which does not interest me. But I'm going to go in here anyway, just in case it's Krampus. It's not Krampus. I would love to get the Spirit of the Night. Sadly, we cannot afford to do that. We'll go down to zero hearts, and probably that would be the end for us. We would, like, never recover from that. If only this had been an Isaac run. We would have so much going for us right now. This is really cool. So shop is definitely going to be worthwhile on this floor, but it feels like greed is long overdue. So get another key. Excellent. And our item room is chocolate milk, chocolate milk brimstone. Uh, occasionally ends up absolutely screwing you over. So I don't know if I want to take chocolate milk there. I'm kind of happy with the current situation we have for Brimstone. So this has basically been like the worst run uh, for item rooms ever. Anarchist cookbook, a chocolate milk we don't even want. We might as well pop that. Uh, a chocolate milk we don't even want. Um, the bean, like... <laughs> Have mercy, please. Give us something a little bit better. I mean, we do have Brimstone, and we got Pyro as well, so there have been some good items. But the item rooms themselves have been terrible to us. Now we're much more likely to run into Greed, I think, uh, on this floor or the next floor with 37 cents. So we'll Leapers. But we should be able to take them out with relative ease. This one dead. We will now just walk over here. Um, why am I going this way first? That's a very good question. Extra Spirit Heart, of course! Why didn't you think of that? So we're gonna take these guys out. A little bit cautiously here. I haven't taken a whole lot of damage. Like, so far my play, I feel, has been absolutely adequate. I've only gotten hit a few times on this entire run. But, that doesn't necessarily guarantee success because the items that we've gotten... And in fact, let's be honest, the choices that I've made to get those items have put us in a precarious situation. But would we be better off? If we had four hearts and no brimstone right now, I would posit that no, we would not be. I think we'd be taking more damage on rooms. Uh, I think we'd be... Not doing as well on health, if that makes any sense. Like, we'd, ha we'd have more heart containers, but would we, have, would we have more hearts? I'm not sure. Remains to be seen. Or I guess we'll never know is a better way to put it. So we're just gonna take out these bombs. Again, very cautiously, because I have no interest in losing an entire spirit heart right now on what is a room that I went to basically just to see what was inside. Get an extra key out of it, which is fine and dandy. I love taking out zombies when you got the brimstone. Makes our life much, much easier. Is this a good pill? I can't remember. Well, either way, I mean, one bomb to access it is a, a solid deal. Speed up. All right, that's like our fifth speed up pill. Uh, I definitely should have remembered what that was. That was easy. Uh, we'll check out our item room, which contains a steam sail. I'll buy it, even though it's incredibly unlikely that this is going to benefit us, because we're probably going to run into greed next. The moon card takes us to the secret room, I believe. So we might chariot the boss, then get the moon card, uh, and head down to the next floor. Chariot. Oh, there we go. Don't you dare vanish. We got another spirit out of this. That was a huge waste of the chariot card, but I did pop Book of Belial. And with all those speed upgrades, War is never going to be able to catch me once he enters his walking state. And our second cube of meat will give us a little bit more DPS. By way of the meat boy, of course. So we get our second cube of meat. We'll come back here. We'll pick up a... Uh, what was it again? The card? The moon card, right. Because it's going to take us to the secret room or the item room. I can never remember. But that's all good. So, down to the depths part two. I feel like the mom fight is going to be super easy. Well, sadly, it took us to the secret room where greed is. The good thing about this, and I'm going to fight it just to get more money. Um, good thing about it is that this means that we will not encounter greed in our shop. So the shop is actually probably going to be worthwhile. Or at least has the potential to give us some decent items. All three at once. Can we do it? Indeed we can. Uh, we get 9 volt, which is awesome. We should really start using this, uh... Fool card is nothing special. Should really start using this... Book of Belial more often, man. But it, it, again, it's a hard sell to use Book of Belial. Because it's so easy for us to take out these enemies without it. Like, what is it? It takes us one shot with Brimstone to kill basically any enemy with 
Brimstone. With Book of Belial activated, it would take even less. Oh, okay, do not walk over that. It's like the only thing that could ruin our run right now. And I know what you're thinking. Just use the Fool card. Get the hell out of here. I'm tempted, but I still think I can win this. I just want to stick around like the outsides of the level. The perimeter, if you will. And just don't worry about the items in the middle. It's a key, it'll come to you. Okay. So we do have item room down here. Hopefully contained therein we find the item we've been missing all game. What would I even want? All stats up would be awesome. Anything with a health upgrade plus something else. Stigmata or a huge health upgrade like liver. Um, miter would be amazing. Ghost Baby is okay, but it's not really going to save us here. Uh, the reason Ghost Baby is alright is because uh, it's just going to increase our damage, basically. We're just going to fight Mom because there's nothing really left for us on this floor, I guess. So let us just uh, get down to the womb, I suppose. So I'm going to pop up Belial. We are dealing with a uh, regular version of Mom. Should be easy. Crowd control shouldn't be too much of an issue. I did get hit there. We're going to have to avoid getting hit as much as possible. I mean, that's just a, your standard Isaac strategy if you want to not take so much damage. Uh, but since our health is so limited and we have no way of replenishing it, it's of the utmost importance right now. Very few feet there. But we did take some more stupid damage from um, the explosions, but we're still fine. So we have some extra pills here. We know that one of those is a speed upgrade, of course. Uh, so let's take that. Friends till the end. That's all right. We got two pills that could do anything. Speed down, that's fine. Believe me, that's an okay compensation. And balls of steel. So all right, we got all of our money back. Or sorry, all of our spirit hearts back that we wasted there. So we're down to the next floor. And we're just going to bum rush the boss as quickly as we can. That was a horrible dodge. Directly into that thing. But now we're not taking the, the enemies out of one brimstone. And that is a little bit concerning to me. Hopefully, again, what do I want on this boss? Oh, that was, again, terrible. What do I want on this boss? I want, uh, I want to fight Death and get that third level Meat Boy and somehow find the Miter at some point. Because there's not really, like, again, this run is great for damage. I'm having a lot of fun just, like, wrecking these enemies, but we stand basically no chance of winning the game here. It might look like my health is at least half decent right now, but this is only four hits until I'm, I'm actually going to be deceased. So there's not much hope overall for, for beating this entire game. Stranger things have happened. There have been runs where, you know, I've turned it around, but... Our item rooms have just been like too, like, scant with their upgrades this time. High Priest is a great card. We're not going to use it yet. We're going to save it as long as we can. We're we'll fighting uh, Triacnid here. We might as well pop this. Triacnid's kind of a pain in the ass. Same situation as Daddy Longlegs, where I find that he sucks because he, he um, stays impossible to hit for too long, but his HP is relatively low. So, should be a fairly easy fight, I guess. Unless I keep missing him in situations like this. There we go. So we get... Wheezy or Squeezy, which is actually a solid upgrade because of the, the spirit arts we get. I was really hoping they would get Krampus there. Here's the thing. Neither of those are worth it. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, if we got like nine lives, um, like we would respawn with only spirit hearts, so maybe we'd have a chance with the Polaroid, but that doesn't really make any sense. Like, I was thinking my logic through a little bit more thoroughly, and I was like, no, um, we, we'd still be totally screwed with that. We might just, we might have nine cracks at Isaac, but each one will have like one-tenth of the chance of success that our current run will have, so... Why bother? We're already below the amount of spirit arts we had when we started, or when we got Wheezy, I believe. So it's not the greatest situation for us here. Mom's heart's coming up soon. That should be a fairly easy boss fight. At the very least, we're gonna get to the cathedral. I believe, anyway, unless I make some horrible mistake somewhere down the line. Uh, and again, we're going to hold on to this High Priestess card, because I would rather use this on Isaac. I, I, I mean, I could blow smoke up your ass and be like, maybe we'll use it on Blue Baby. We're probably not going to have a chance to use it on Blue Baby. We might, if we get lucky, have a chance to use it on Isaac. So we're going to pop that right away. We do have 99 bombs. So let's start sending these in. They're not homing, but they might as well be. 
because our familiars are always going to shoot them a little bit further ahead than I place them, so I can afford to place them a little bit closer to where we are. And then they will basically home in on the center of Mom, which is a nice bonus for us, considering we don't actually have home in bombs. Well, that was an example of that going terribly wrong. That's okay. I, I don't know how Mom actually disappeared there. That was weird. I mean, I, I understand the mechanics of Mom disappearing when the enemies have been spawned for a few seconds, but she seemed to go away after, like, less than a second there. It's crazy. So I did take one more hit there uh, through a weird, like, diagonal shot. And we do have an Eternal Heart, so we'll get one more HP to go to the next floor. Call me crazy. I think we have a chance to defeat um, Isaac here. If we defeat Isaac, I mean, anything could happen at that point, because we do have those, like, four... Uh, chests on the chest that could potentially give us awesome items but I find it unlikely that I mean e this is a long shot even if we beat Isaac which is kind of a long shot in its own right because we're only gonna have like maximum realistically three health by the time we get to Isaac uh, this is definitely file <laughs> worthy yeah if we have three health by the time we get to Isaac that means I can only get hit four times? I'm thinking because of the Polaroid, but, you know, let's worry about that when we get to it, because right now, I only have one hit left. Because of these damn greed heads. It sounds like an incredible insult, these damn greed heads. Well, hopefully we'll get some uh, extra red heart drops, because I... The spirit arts might have saved my life that we just picked up from that Balls of Steel pill, but still... I'm gonna need some red heart drops if we're gonna have a chance here. Trinket's out the ass now. I'm just gonna try to take these guys out before they do too many passes of this. Oh, that actually went exactly the way I had anticipated. So we've got the Widow. Widow is not difficult, even like Pink Widow is not difficult. As you can see, so we do pick up half of a red heart there. It's something, it's a start. Let's pop Book of Belial again. Get ready to do some pro dodging. We're okay. We'll take out the second greed. This went actually much better than the last one. Okay, so let's see what we've got in our mob trap room here. I think it's worth it. It might not have been worth it. But we should kill these bosses quickly because we're going to have what? This, then Monstro. Oh, then Chubb. Who we can just like feed bombs basically. And then Peep? Or mo two monsters. Two monsters, okay. No big deal. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, but the health down pill becomes full health. No, it, it never does. That's bad trip. Bad trip becomes full health. It's okay, we're, we're still alive. It's close. Um, so we don't want this anymore, right? We want a High Priestess. That's a good card. Okay, keep going here. Bad room. Not a good room. Now we're low. I'm, I'm worried about this. We have one and a half. That's two hits. We can really only absorb one hit. Chariot is a good card. Gives us some invincibility. Um, we're gonna take Chariot with us then. Because the invincibility might be important on like a room like this, for example. And then we will just go back and get the High Priestess card. So that might have saved us there. Who knows? Do I still think we have a chance against Isaac? Um, you know, that's a very good question. Fuck you for asking it. <laughs> uh, what is this? It's ball. Okay, well, we're gonna continue to just be kept alive by the skin of our teeth here. We're gonna have a fight with the regular version of the Widow, which is gonna be super easy. More red hard drops, please. Well, Penny, basically the same thing, right? So I don't want. I don't know why I'm complaining. We have a we have a shot. It's gonna require an incredible fight against Isaac. Like, a, a seriously, almost unprecedented quality of fight against Isaac. Um, we should probably throw in bombs as often as possible. But there's a chance. It's not out of the question. We've got some stuff going for us here. Book of Belial, High Priestess. So we're gonna High Priestess, Book of Belial right away. And then just start tossing in some bombs. It helps if the um, familiars continue shooting at them. The problem with the bombs is that it, it's much harder to put these in on Isaac than it is against Mom's heart. 
I didn't even pop up the loud. Yeah, that was dumb. Oh, yeah, this is not good for us. Okay, so my invincibility is worn off. One more hit will be the end of us. And I think, in all likelihood, that is gonna happen. But we are doing some solid damage here. The familiars are actually making my job harder here. Of course, they are doing more damage to Isaac. But they're also putting me in a position where Isaac is firing, like, continuously. Not easy! That was an interesting dodge there. We're good! We're still somehow alive! Oh, there we go. I actually thought we might have had a chance there at the end, but that was an okay run. That was a lot of fun. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.